I said, empty your mind. Be formless, shapeless, like water. Now you put water into a cup, it becomes the cup. You put water into a bottle, it becomes the bottle. You put it in a teapot, it becomes the teapot. Now water can flow or it can crash. Be water, my friend. What's happening, everybody? Your boy's back, Gensu, with another Fight Team video today. So, I was supposed to do a um, request yesterday for a video, but I'm kind of tired, man. I had things I needed to do. So, today we're going to go ahead and do a request on Sinchai, the Muay Thai monster. Okay, I don't know nothing about Sinchai. I've heard of Sinchai. I don't know nothing about Sinchai. So, I got Coach Jacob here to so educate me a little bit. Or Sinchai. I've seen a little of Sinchai's uh, his highlights and stuff, and just because he's such a legend in the Muay Thai community. He's, How tall is this dude? I think he's like five 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 six, bro. That's crazy. So he's a little shorter than me. Destroying people though. Destroying a lot of bigger, bigger guys, like huge guys, bro. So this video was recommended to me by a guy named Deck. He. Look, bro, I can't pronounce your last name, dude. I mean, what is it? Deck Hey? Hey? Deck Deck Hey? He's probably um, Thai. Yeah, he's probably Thai, bro. I can't pronounce your last name, but I'm going to go ahead and shoot this video out for you. Thanks for the support, man. Get this cracking, bro. All right? In the three, two, one, let's go. He's a lot more like mobile than traditional TIE fighters. Yeah. He's super Ooh, mobile. Oh, you see that? Ooh. Well, he. Because he's like, it's like a mix of Taekwondo type of. Yeah. And then Muay Thai. He's very mobile, very fast. A lot like that. I think that's why he he does so well against bigger guys because he just dumps them on their ass. Yeah. I always wonder. He, he just dumps them. That, that sweep is beautiful. And these are these dudes are big and they're skilled. And he's just he's super elusive too. But yeah. You know, ooh. I think he has like 200 fights. Yeah, least. they say he fights like every other week. He's like a couple weeks, he's 540, I think, now. This is an old video, too. I wanted to see how that I had more of his, uh... Recent parts. I was trying to get some recent stuff, but... You see that elbow, dude? You're about to see a crazy knockout, too. There's, a, there's one of... He does, like, a jumping kick. I like how he does that. That hop step with that punch, and he leaves that punch and comes with that kick. Sometimes people like to catch kicks. 
like fun to me. What if the what it depends on what kind of gear you're throwing? I throw the full like Dutch like Muay Thai like full follow through. That's yeah. why it's probably a lot easier yeah, to I catch. Yeah, like, eat it. He's tiny though, bro. Was he about 135? I think so. I think 160 is probably max. Probably max weight for him? Yeah, I would imagine so. He fights, like when he fights people his size, people don't even bet. Because betting is really heavy in Muay Thai. Yeah. Like, it's not fair at all. If they don't I mean, well, I mean, you know. That's why he's always fighting big ass dudes. Well, he's gifted, bro. He's naturally strong. I mean, you got a dude that small that packs a lot of power like that. Man, he's that, crafty too, man. You know? He's super intelligent, super fast. Crazy reflexes, like, he sets people up. So I'm watching this, bro. He's not taking a lot of damage from these dudes, man. No, because he's so elusive. See? It's like he understands. He, he sees it, bro. He understands the, the, the way we tie in so much, bro, that he knows what's coming. Yeah, I think they say that like, they... they they start fighting when they're like, I don't know, you know, yeah, like bro, six like, or like some six, shit. Seven, bro. Having like 200 fights, 300 fights, it's like... Yeah, and they yeah. train real smart too. Yeah. They're not really, they're training really technical. That's what I heard from Joe Rogan. So they're training pretty smart. You see how you can you need to do that dude the chance to finish this whole axe cake, bro. Because it's like, dude, imagine if you're a boxer, you have 200 fights. Yeah. I mean, you might just be drooling and yeah. I don't know, man. Too. 
You shot close to your soul? Yeah, stupid close. Okay. Man. Well, I think it's because when they try to kick him, right, to keep the range, and he's always yeah, he's always the he's close as shit too. Though. And then he pushes that they don't want to kick no more, so now he's in the middle yeah. of the range. Mmm. See how close he is to him, bro. You see how close he is? Ooh, nah, I like that. You see how close he is to him, bro? Yeah. Like how he's... Boom! Ooh. Dude, I want to learn how to do that. Go to Thailand. Go to Thailand. Train, yeah. train with Sunshine, man. Six hours a day. It's like he's the same size as him, bro. It just it doesn't look fair. No, it doesn't. Even with... Mm. Oh, that was nice. Oh, his elbows in the back Ooh. of the head. Boom. Oh. How many rounds did he fight? I don't know. How many, how many times did they fight? I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't know either. Okay. Do you guys have a guy? This uh, Sin Chai look, bro. I, I like, I like how I started noticing the taller fighters. He was closing, that he, he was really close. So when they were kicking, it was very easy for him to get away from the kicks because he's so close. Like you say, he's at, when he's in, when he's in the range, you got problems. Mm -hmm. But I think he understands the mechanics of it so much yeah. that it's easy for him, bro. Well, he's just been training for so long, his entire life, so many fights, so much experience. Yeah. He just sees, he knows. He just knows you he make knows, a little. Yeah. He knows when you're loading for that kick. Yeah. He knows when you're gonna punch. He yeah. knows. It's like it's like you know it's like taekwondo. Okay, it's like if you know that there's no headshots in your division, then why are you scared to bang on these dudes? You know what I'm saying? That makes sense. If you know there's no shots up here, then you can you can block here and you can get busy. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, that's the one less thing to work. Yeah, because a lot of schools, a lot of especially like a lot of black belt training, a lot of good black belt training, they all have. The same type of training because they always they change things so much so it's all the same. You can see that it's all the fucking same. Then you should already be prepared for it. Do something different, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. But, yeah. Do you guys have it? Uh, I think we're gonna do bare knuckle week. I got another request from, from another uh, subscriber, and he wants to look up Joe Joyce. I don't know who that is, but I'm gonna look him up. Bare knuckle boxer, bare knuckle week. Do you have it, Coach Jacob? Like. Comment, subscribe, hit the bell, get all notifications. We're out of here. Peace, player. I'm gone. Uh, okay. <laughs>